I mean, a lot of people uh, end up working in startups later because they worked on really cutting edge technology here. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very special guest, Sai Soumya Nalli, who is currently a research fellow at Microsoft. So basically, research is a very wide area and it's often overlooked by many. But with AI automating most of our jobs right now, we, very soon we'll all be jobless. But research is something which basically cannot ever be automated by AI because it requires the full potential of the human brain. And if research is combined with industry experience along with getting stipend, so that is probably the best thing that's there. And often like people, like there are so many programs that are offered by Microsoft, Google, and so on. So there's this research program by Microsoft and there's free doc program by Google, which many people don't know about. But these offer research opportunities as long as, uh, along with industry experience, which is like extremely crucial for future. And it's probably the most stable thing of this decade. So Soumya is going to talk about today, like overall, um, everything about like, how to get into Microsoft research and, you know, all about the opportunity, the program, basically what it offers and what the role entails. And like when the applications open up, basically to give an overall idea of this amazing research opportunity that is provided by these big institutions. So welcome, Soumya. Hi, Srimanti. Thanks for having me here. Great. So would you mind talking about a little background of yourself? Uh, sure. Um... So hi everyone, I'm Soumya. I uh, graduated last year uh, with a B.Tech in CSE from IIT Madras. Uh, I uh, I was a SEP and a SWE intern in Google in the, at the end of my second and third years. Uh, and in fourth year, I realized I really wanted to do research after a couple of uh, research projects with really amazing props at IIT Madras, and that's when I considered. Uh, seriously consider research as a career option and uh, now I'm here at MSR as a research fellow. Great, great. I think it's like a very good like choice of career, but still I would want you to tell us like why did you choose Microsoft Research? Ah, okay, sure. Uh, so uh, as I uh, uh, said before, um, it was in my fourth year, around my fourth year, that I seriously considered research as an option. Till then, it's all the buzz that you hear about it, packages and stuff, right? So, uh, yeah, but uh, as I was uh, doing a lot of uh, research work with my props there, that's when I realized I wanted to seriously consider this as a career choice because I've always been interested in theory CS and math in general. Uh, so at uh, that point, I already had some academic uh, research experience and uh, I wanted to check out how industry research is going to be like, understand the flavor of industry research, understand the kind of independence that you would have there. Uh, and also like how, how what would a theory person like me end up doing there? Like what sort of work, what sort of impactful work can you do there? So uh, at that point, these were the kind of things that I was looking at, and uh, Microsoft Research with uh, its RF program seemed like the right fit for me. So, yeah, got it. Sounds great. Like this was you got it like in your uh, placements or off campus? Uh, this was off campus. Okay. Uh, I don't think a uh, research fellow uh, role is comes to our uh, campus at least for placements. I see. Uh, I think most of them are like oh, most of uh, the other RFs I know also have applied for it on campus. Got it. So can you like tell mm -hmm. us about the process? Like when does the application open up and how do you like navigate? Uh, uh, sure, sure. Uh, so I think uh, the applications uh, uh, there's a, a, a open up there's a form that you have to fill in which uh, kind of uh, opens up at around December Jan uh, I think. Um, and uh, basically, that's where you kind of write uh, write about yourself. You uh, kind of kind of tell uh, what your interests are. Like there are different fields that people work on here, and you kind of uh, tell what your interests are. You talk about your experiences, and like there's also an LOR that you uh, kind of have to give uh, along with that. And I think a couple of months later, uh, researchers who like your profile they kind of reach out to you and. Uh, in a set of interviews happened, uh, and I think based on the feedback from that uh, and uh, what the team or what uh, what uh, uh, the researchers need at that point, the uh, kind of skill set that they need, 
uh, and your interest as well. Based on that, they're trying to find a, a good fit for you. Here. Got it. So what does mm -hmm. this like interviews entail? Like, can you describe a general experience of the interviews overall? Based on the require the skill set requirement for different teams and uh, for uh, uh, the role that they're taking you in for, uh, there might be different rounds where uh, they might ask you about uh, different uh, questions about that area or ask you to talk about your work or in, in case of uh, uh, very, uh, uh, in case uh, the kind of team that you're joining has very code heavy uh, uh, work to do, you, your coding proficiency, all of that might be checked. So it, it's very uh, team dependent and the kind of area that you might be working on, yeah. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Sounds good. Overall, like projects and all, like, it depends on coding and different kinds of experience, past internships, overall interest. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so this is like a very important question. I think I also have like overall, what would you say at the future, um, future pathway after this role? Like what are the future goals of you or maybe what can people do after this role? Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, so, I mean, a uh, lot of people, including, I mean, I am seriously considering going for a PhD. So a lot of people do uh, end up uh, applying for hires and mess or PhD. But there are also a lot of other roles. I mean, a lot of people uh, end up working in startups later because they worked on really cutting edge technology here. So uh, that, uh, that allows them to, that uh, probably encourages them to work on like similar projects in startups or like start their own startups as well. Uh, there are also people who uh, end up uh, working uh, as research scientists in uh, different roles. And there are also people who want to do more domain specific SD as well. Uh, perhaps people who worked, uh, who researched in systems here. So there are all sorts of pathways uh, for different sort of RFs after your two years, one or two years. Got it. So this program is for mm -hmm. one to two years based on how the mm -hmm. application or it it, it uh, also it also depends like I mean it it depends on uh, whether uh, you want to stay here firstly uh, secondly whether uh, what the kind of work that you're hired for is it like a one year thing or a two year thing and all of this is something that will be made clear to you uh, through your discussions with your uh, manager. Got it. So and you work with yeah. like professors and all overall like um different uh, so yeah so the thing is uh yeah you work in different teams you might also uh have uh you might also work under a specific uh, uh manager who is a researcher and uh you might collab you collaborate with your team here and there are also a lot of academic industrial collaborations that happen all the time it, it depends on what what your team is doing and what your interests are also taken into consideration so. got it Sounds great. I mean, so it's like research along with a bit of industry implementation and also like getting stipend. So kind yeah, of, yeah. Right. yeah, pretty cool. The sweet spot for a lot of things, yeah. Mm. And like a lot of opportunities as well. Like if you're directly able to do PhD after this, that's like even mm -hmm. better. And I think- Yeah, exactly. There are a lot of connections that you can make with people as well because people who work here, there are, experts in all sorts of things right so so you can talk to a lot of people find uh, make a lot of connections they know a lot of uh, really good people so you, you there are also a lot of opportunities for you to do further work like through your connections that you make sure got it sounds great i mean yeah i think mm -hmm. that wraps up everything i had to ask and also like if i suppose, uh, like currently i'm working in a company right so if i suppose i want yeah. to pursue um this program later so does it have to be a btech graduate or it can be later also yeah, yeah. I, it, it's uh, it's designed with like maybe people who graduated uh, okay. in two last two three years in mind but but i think like anybody can apply for it as long as you you've not done your phd it's just a paid off program mm -hmm. i'm phd huh? yeah got it Cool. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Soumya, for this. Yeah. Sure, sure. Thanks yeah. for the opportunity, Simon. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, like mm -hmm. to the viewers, if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you with.